Atomic Habits, Lesson 8, Habit Tracking. I'm going to start with a story time, and this is about gamblers and how gamblers lie, calendars never lie. And so here's a typical gambler's lie. What they tend to do is they tend to exaggerate how much they win and under-exaggerate how much they lose. So a gambler goes to a casino and loses $117. They'll say, oh, I lost about $100. They just round it down. That same gambler, next time, wins about $114 and says, oh, I won about $120. And so what they do is they tend to over and under exaggerate and they don't realize that they're actually lying to themselves. What I love about calendars is when you're tracking on the calendar, the calendar doesn't lie. Either you did the activity and you give yourself a reward by marking that down or you didn't and you leave it blank. And so there's a couple key things to think about. Number one, never break the chain. And so when you're going, you can see here, there's a couple times that the person broke the habit, but your idea is I don't break the chain. I'm someone who does this every day. Now I mentioned that I usually work out seven days a week, but if I miss a day, that's okay because I know that I want to maintain at least six days a week. When I do seven, that's fantastic. But if I have one gap, that's okay. I never allow myself to miss two in a row. It has probably been two and a half years since I have missed two workouts in a row. And so that's something that I do because it is an identity that I have. I am someone who does not miss two days in a row. And when that happens, when I miss a day, I figure out somehow how I'm going to, even if I'm not home, I'm away from everything, I'm going to figure out some way to make sure that I get my other workout in. There are a couple different ways to track things. You can do the daily tracking. I do dot tracking where I keep track of specific things that I want to do. I've given an example here that you might have. Um, 30 minute work time, um, doing your work, uh, 20 minute reading, uh, 20 minute workout, 10 minute meditation. And so what you can do is you can say, hey, I did an hour and a half worth of work. So that's three 30 minute blocks. And I can just put dots on those individual days. So I have sticker dots that I have so that I don't have to color anything in. Um, and I track and make sure that I do my goals that way. But for other bigger goals, you might just want to say on this day, did I achieve my goal or not? The idea though, and here's the key thing, is the calendar doesn't lie. You be honest with the calendar, and when you look at the calendar, it's honest right back at you. Step by step you'll see how great you can be.